who's recognised use a fantastic ability to turn and arrive in the box. So how can your touch eliminate a defender? How can your touch make space for yourself or your teammate? How can you control the ball into the space you want to go into? So these are the questions that players are asking. You can see he's still scanning, he's still searching all the time, exploring. So there's a great early clip there and, and something I want to add very quickly. Keep watching this back because you'll notice more and more micro details. Just keep keep on want... talking. I'm just going to play it again, but keep on talking, please. Yeah, play it again. So what you'll see is that where the player looks is going to influence how they adapt their body. And I'm going to use a phrase in a minute. This is really important. I want you to take note. So look at how many times he's scanning. Set, see if, literally how many times he's scanned there before he's received the ball within milliseconds. And he's had to adapt his body in this moment and in the clips that are coming. So look at this now. He's going to be 1v2 very quickly. So now 1v2. He's got pressure from behind and around, as well as slight pressure to the side. So the game is forever changing. Every player has their own unique movement signature. And that's a great statement just to get our heads around. Every football player has their own unique movement signature. So if we know that the profile of every player is different, he's different to a, to a uh, Virgil van Dijk, who's different to a Phil Foden, who's different to a Mbappe. We're all different. You know, I'm different to you, body type, everything. So if we if we think about that, and we're going to go into more detail after about how we often yeah. describe the correct technical model of what to do, that solution. But actually, that you know, I'm giving you a demonstration based on my solution, my body type, my movement. But that doesn't relate to his identity or his profile. It's so important when we're coaching players is what's the identity of the player? And if I go back and you've got this statement at the top, you'll be able to see which is the process of searching for information and how the players are looking for information from the environment in order to come up with their own adaptable and unique movement solution. Because every, every situation is unique. It's different. It'll never be the same again. And you notice in some of those clips where he's running to receive, sometimes he's running to deceive and, dis and disguise his intentions. Sometimes he's done something just to disguise his intentions. But as he's running to receive, the situation's changed. One minute there was a defender there, next minute there isn't, or vice versa. He had space, now he doesn't have as much. He's got pressure around him. And then he's had to come up with another solution, one that we might not even think of. You know, and I love the one where he's received and he's used his body to protect the ball. And he's allowed himself to get into a position where can he get an early entry into the opponent's penalty area? And that is, you know, priceless. We think about attacking principles. We want to get into the penalty area as early as possible or as appropriate as possible. Because once we're in there, you know, you're hoping we can get shots, we can get rebounds. They might foul you, you'll get a penalty or in around mm -hmm. free kicks. It's a great way. Can we get early entries into penalty area? And of course you can... You know, it's a, that's a topic for another day, webinar, for how you get in there, whether it's floating in, crossing. <laughs> We've got plenty of subjects coming. <laughs> exactly. But the, the, the main message is, is that this player is having to look for information from the environment by scanning, by searching, whatever words you want to use, to come up with a, an adaptable and unique movement solution.